but he's Hello guys, welcome back to SMSU Esports. We're going to be watching SMSU Brown play versus Mankato. Uh, we're going to see some uh, pretty nice comps here actually. No Yoru, like SMSU, uh, SMSU uh, Brown tends to play on Vine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm the piece of bread. I'm, I'm with uh, accompanying me with uh, Awoken. We, we're seeing a Breach, which is probably the most interesting pick on the map typically. Uh, you usually see like a maybe a KJ or a Sentinel roll, but it looks like they're opting more for flashes as we see with the the Omen, the Phoenix, and possibly the Breach. Very true. I feel like Sky is also a very common play. Our, okay, we're gonna possibly see two controllers. I I would love to see a Brimstone in this game. Absolutely, I am ecstatic. <laughs> They're locked in. This is. I I am prepared for this wonderful experience. Although we do get to see uh, a sentinel on the side of SMSU with the uh, sage, you know that that's kind of a typical uh, sentinel that uh, people play on Haven. Other than maybe Cipher or KJ would KJ would probably be the most popular, but you know sa sage is a safe option. Definitely, um, SMSU will be attacking. Um, Gonna be seeing Cypher setting up A for Mankato. A strong A hold is always really strong on Haven. Mm -hmm. Making sure that there's one site that people can't touch in a three site map is really important. Yeah, and, and honestly, like, I typically see A played the most uh, pistol round. Like, you'll, you'll most often see A be the site to take. Uh, as we can see from SMSU, they're heavy leaning towards a, you know, maybe mid window if they're feeling adventurous. But right, right now they're they're leaning towards a. 
Absolutely, and I want to point out how Cypher bought all of his util, so we're wow. going to... And they're already collapsing the mag. Jet is already pushed up to Garden. She's pretty much in SMSU spawn already. Spotted out by the Cypher trip. Uh, dashed on the site. Wow, good good util you use. Clearing site very well. Now they're on site. They got the jet on the flank. But the brimstone, the lovely, lovely brimstone, has a feeling that someone's on the flank and is already watching. And he get oh, and the brimstone, and the brimstone gets the peek off of the immortal jet. He's insane. He's literally better. Right click, still diff. And it is down to a 2v2 with the Brimstone and the Sage. Sage gets a pick off of the Astra, and now it's a 1v1. He peeks. Oh, and he the Brimstone, the hard carry, the, the, the wheels on the wagon, one might <laughs> even say. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good round for SMSU. I loved having a flank there, catching that jet off guard. You can see that jet tried to clear that, and he thought he did, and then he reswung back, realizing that Brim was actually there. Mm -hmm. Um, still a setup on A for Cipher. Asher's gonna be here to ensure that A site hopefully goes as planned. Um, Sova on C. I like having Sova C as well, mm -hmm. making sure that C is clear with the dart. Yeah, and it looks like SMSU's uh, running it down mid, maybe garage area, you know, getting the space early. Yeah, it looks like they have a full buy of Spectres and sh should be getting on the site here, but Jet gets the trade uh, with the Classic one tap because Classic different. Uh, classic going in, but Waffle gets the pick off of Cypher. Now it's a 4v2. Sky is extremely low, so a Cypher. This is a nice wall, close off the map a lot. And it looks like the sky is looking for the shorty picks. You know, you just, at this point, the sky is just looking for exits or just to take econ away from SMSU. So it makes the next round a little bit easier for them. And it makes it more of a chance that um, Mankato will win the next round because it'll be their full buy. And then she picks up a Spectre, but gets traded off of that. Yeah, I... I actually really loved that round from SMSU. They were playing back. They weren't pushing out into that smoke, trying to get greedy for a kill, and it paid off. They were able to make it out with three Spectres, and we're going to see some buys come out. Uh, Waffle's going to try buying up here. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe a half buy maybe from SMSU. The ones that did die, I believe Eric and uh, Sova died that last round, so they'll just be... Doing a little half buy. Yep, he picks up the Spectre and Light Shield so he can purchase for next round. But, uh, you know, it looks like they're doing another garden area mid push. Maybe they're defaulting. No, they're still hanging out in spawn, but getting super aggressive on Mankato here. Just W keying it down mid with Astra and Jet. And Jet just dashes into four people. And Astra gets the trade off a. Uh, the Phoenix and window is retreating. Now it's a 4v4. No one's on A though, which is really interesting for Mankato. They're just expecting the C push. And it looks like SMSU is consolidating their powers and going A. So it'll be interesting to see how these trips play out because there's no one here to capitalize off of someone getting tripped. You know, if Cypher was playing Heaven, as you can see with the camera, he now knows that SMSU is A and does get tripped, but Luckily, there's no one there to capitalize on that. Definitely. I like how they're playing this slow and steady, waiting for more rotates, but Cypher does end up getting a pick on Waffle. Waffle not playing it quite safe enough there. Kingslayer has an eye on Heaven. I don't know if I particularly like that play. Mm -hmm. uh, play safe. Don't play for picks here. Yeah, you really just want to ad take advantage of the Spectre and how, how close range it's supposed to be played. And now it's now down to a 1v4. Uh, and she does get the tr the pick on, on the sky, but they sadly do get the defuse. It wasn't a bad um, little half buy around. They got two guns off of uh, Mankato. They only invested one rifle into that round, so it really wasn't yeah. a major loss on SMSU's econ. 
definitely not the worst uh, possible outcome of that. I will say uh, Mankato has a little bit of a light buy here with a Guardian and a Spectre coming out. But we do have Silva Alt and Jet Alt for Mankato. And then uh, Sky Alt on board for SMSU. SMSU possibly utilizing that to get onto site this round. Mm -hmm. and, and again, we're going to see the Jet and Astra maybe pushing mid, maybe backing off. But now it's a 5v4 already. Astra took a little bit of damage off the Phoenix, but did get the Phoenix in s for 80 health, I think. Well, now she's full health. Never mind. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, it looks like SMSU is kind of just holding their angles because they have just been W keen. Mankato has just been holding W pretty much the entire game. Jet's been pushing mid for th all three rounds, I believe. She went mid to either flank or just dash into to the entire team of SMSU. And I want to point out quickly that uh, SMSU actually does not have Sky. I confused the two, so it's mm. reversed. That's all good. And it looks like they're going for maybe a garage push. It, you know... Moorhead, uh, not Moorhead, uh, Mankato it has had a heavy leaning towards CB. They're, they're stacking four players in between the sites of C and B, and then they're just letting Cypher take A and just pray. I, th I think that's a really interesting setup. Typically, you see maybe two, maybe even three on A. Like one heaven, maybe one short, and then one long. But they're taking really aggressive positions, and they do get the, the double trade on to... SMSU and sad, sad they only get the Astra but you know that, that was one of the first gun rounds and I, I believe SMSU is still able to buy for this round no I think it's gonna be a pretty broken buy yeah. for SMSU although I would love to see SMSU uh, take advantage of the cypher leaving a site and I mean they got a site pretty pretty clean and pretty free mm -hmm. um all they have to do is hold it if they hold their angles correctly that can be a free win mm -hmm. and it, it does look like that smsu has recognized that you know there's not a lot of people on a because they ran into four players in between c and b so they're just holding w towards a which i actually really like on these little half by rounds because you can really catch off guard you know a lot of players so sadly it doesn't work all the time with specters and that will occasionally happen if you're, you know, W keen with some specters. You'll run into some phantoms or vandals, you know, some real rifles yeah. that can one shot you. So, you know, it's unfortunate that it happened, but yeah. that's kind of to be expected yeah, on some I, of those half eyes. Not the worst thing to lose a save round. However, I hope that SMSU will take full advantage and win this buy round because this is really where it starts counting, making sure that you're winning the buy rounds that you. Uh, the rounds that you buy, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we're going to see knives out of jet. Uh, or maybe? Yep. And they are again holding W like absolute champions. Whew. And she jet. does get the pick on the brimmy. And the, the pick Mankato on to the jet. Cleaning up right here. Waffle mm -hmm. going to try and make something. Oh, but the Phoenix did get the trade. These rounds are just zooming by. Oh, my Absolutely. gosh. Absolutely. I think <laughs> that should tell SMSU that they need more map control. Mm -hmm. They if just need to hold angles. Yeah. They need to hold short angles. You the know, on the maybe half buys, maybe by shorties or maybe a shotgun. I know. Our, our champion Waffle loves his Bucky play, so... Yeah, the moment you start getting collapsed on like that, when rounds start be becoming this short, you need to make sure you have map control. You need to stop them from pushing out. Take 30 seconds, make sure they're not pushing out of anywhere. Mm-hmm, because Mankato really does seem like they're just holding W every single time. And they're taking really risky uh, stacks. Like, Astra and Jet have been playing together pretty much the whole game. Uh... You know, whether it be mid or garage or now A, they love to play together. Oh, Jet is really pushed up and sadly gets picked off there. And it's like, going to be another half by from SMSU with the Spectres and the Marshall. Mankato's usage of Astra is something I really, really like to see here, though. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what's happening, I love how they have one person C, but they have all of this backup Astra util on C long. Mm -hmm. And they also have something geared towards garage. It mm -hmm. makes it so that they're able to have three people a and one and two people actually pushing up out of here. Last player standing. <laughs> 
the Jet and Astro are working together very well, and they are just holding W, just... And Waffle does get the pick off the Sky, but then gets traded out by the Jet. Honestly, it, the the Astra and Jet playing together here is really... R it's the it's star working. of the show right now. Yeah, I mean, you see Jet dash out, distracts um, SMSU long enough for Jet to, I mean, Colpin, to peek out. I mean, uh, sorry, the Astra. Astra. <laughs> to peek out and get the kill, and uh, and no, no lives lost there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think SMSU just needs to hold short angles together, maybe some crossfires, because they are just getting pushed and run down. This sh typically shouldn't be happening when you're on attack. You should be the ones running it down, but yeah. I, I think SMSU is a lot of just stuff happening. <laughs> the Phoenix Alt coming out, uh, you trade on the Astra, Phoenix, Phoenix Alt finally taken down. It's a 3v4. And uh, SMSU is getting mid control, though. They've pushed uh, back Moorhead, or excuse me, Mankato quite a bit, and the Phoenix gets to trade onto the Cypher. Yeah, Eric with a great Very shot. Nice. Colton with a 2K right there. Highly aggressive Jet, and she just knows. The 4K, gets the 4K. Though. Yeah. Already has Jet Knives again after <laughs> two rounds, I believe it's been. Yeah, I think been? he had one, one pause in between there. Maybe yeah. Two, yeah. Um, I. I think SMSU just needs to start hitting their shots a little bit. Maybe this is a little bit of a warm-up game. Mm -hmm. um, I think defense will be a lot easier for this crew. Yeah, they, they'll be able to sh play crossfires a little bit easier. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mankato's already pushing into them, so maybe we should be expecting uh, you know, a, bit, a little bit of a slower play by SMSU, maybe get more map control because they are getting – closed in on pretty much at every available opportunity and Mankato already recognized they're not C they're not going C so they know it's A they've already two man rotated there's almost four people on site already and SMSU is stuck in main and short this is really hard to witness I mean you have four people on site before they're even like before they're even out, out yeah. yeah. Before the spikes even planted, they haven't even gotten a pick. Oh, and the jet does get uh, down there. Jet yeah. traded though. Yeah. It, I think the only word of advice for um, SMSU is either winning more gu gunfights, mm. which is a given in any game. If you're not winning those gunfights, you can't win at all. Um, and just. I don't even know if map control would help at this point because of how fast the map is co collapsing on them. Yeah, I, I, I think they should be running a default maybe yeah. and or maybe running a buddy system where they have someone with them to trade so they can play crossfires or they can play together because, you know, while they are getting one tapped, maybe if they are together, they can easily get that trade. And, you know, I'd really like to see a default and not have Sage push mid by herself and have her get picked off by an operator. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, you should typically see the duelists be getting uh, that uh, map control instead of the sentinel. I mean, it, there are yeah. some instances where Sage wants to put in a progressive wall, but typically you won't see Sage just W keying out mid to, into an operator, especially yeah. considering Mankato has been pushing just about every single round mid yeah. or, you know, a short or something. I think that's very true as well. You gotta let duelists have a little bit of time to do their thing and get that control for you. Um, Sage just simply doesn't have the util for that. Mm -hmm. um, Eric about to take over some space in Garage where no one currently is. But they, again, are still collapsing on them. The Jet, the Astra, and the Silver all know that we should be looking Garage right now and Astra gets the pick off the operator. I, I believe Phoenix had a flash there that he could have used, but you know it is what it is. And now it's a one v five with our Lord and Savior Brimstone. I think um, another word of advice is util usage. Mm -hmm. Making sure that your util is effective and doing what it has to do. Each piece of util w should be a thing that gets you towards the goal. Planting bomb, playing for defuse. I mean, mm -hmm. not defuse, but for them to retake. You know, playing for the, the, the win. Yeah, you should be playing to your character's strengths and 
a character like Sage, when she has her ult ready, probably should be behind her teammates like the Duelist so she can res them when they get sight control or just uh, enough control to get that res off because it is her like most impactful ability that she has outside of maybe the wall. So it, it, it's really important to have the Duelist go first when you have the ult up. I'd really like to see the Brimstone ult because we know that Mankato is grouping up a lot. And, you know, I feel like it could be an easy site clear off of maybe B. I think the Brimstone all covers a majority of the site, if not the whole thing? I, th I think I th a pretty good majority, but definitely yeah. not all of it. Not the whole thing, not Gong, but uh, a, de a definite... All the back site for sure. Yeah, I, I, I just really like to see the ults come out of SMSU. Just one Sova ult or a Brim ult or... You know, uh, Sage alt. We've seen Phoenix and Jet alt, but other than that, it's been kind of slow off of SMSU side. Good pick on the Sova, though, but then our Sova gets traded. Astro pushing mid with an op, and the no scope misses, but hits the legs. Kingslayer with the op. Oh, and he and gets the oh, kill on the wow. Nice little three piece coming out from Jet, but pushes in the sight blind and gets collapsed on. I, uh, yeah, I think, honestly, we've said it, everything about SMSU and what they're doing um, incorrectly. Util usage, um, aim, making sure that things are clear, uh, what we just witnessed, basically. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about some things that um, uh, Mankato College has been doing cor correctly. What's winning them these fights? I, for the most part, they are playing together and using their Util together. When you see the jet pushing... It's usually coupled with a Sky Flash, Astra Pull, you know, Sova Arrow. She already knows where they are when she's pushing into them, so then she can get those one taps, and it makes it really easily uh, to get those 4Ks or 3Ks or however much she has. But monster damage on the Sova already at 5 HP just from Util. But the full team gets flashed, and sadly, the operator. Oh, it does get the trade on the Astra, though, that has an operator. Sova still on 5 HP though. Jet gets picked up. Jet Sky pushes in with a judge. Uh, kills the Sova. Right now though, is SMSU still working with uh, Sage Alt? You know, it's it's a 2v2 or 1v2 and Sova was on 5 HP for most of that time and Cypher was really low. But you know, that's okay. They still got three of their players almost got on the site was using their util yeah. finally got to see both so all three alts actually brimstone yeah. sova and sage that round which i really liked i also i mean you you saw sova 5 hp because of util usage mm -hmm. that's that's huge yeah that's that's definitely a start for smsu mm -hmm. all right smsu is gonna have to have big <laughs> plans for defense to bring this back they're going to have to have a monster half uh, to go around. I think they're going to have to win like 11, straight, like 10 straight in a row, but... It's possible. Anything can happen. You know, anything's it, possible with the 10-2 curse, you know? <laughs> yeah. If Mankato can do it, so can SMSU. Of course. We, all, we always have our faith, and Mankato actually leaning towards C on this push. And the Brimmy, the monster Brimmy. The monster. Yeah, we're going to see... And the Brim gets the pick on the Sky. Jet does get the trade off, but Jet dashed in and tried to knife the other Jet. Uh, sadly missed the knife, but Jet missing her Deagle shots, and Phoenix gets a nice trade of bullets. Phoenix Good Molly util use. In. Molly gets a kill, and the so shot darts get the kill on the Jet. This is how we want to see SMSU use their util. They're using it as a team and together to get kills and get the advantage. So even though they were in a 2v4, yeah. they still got two free picks off of uh, Sova dart, or Sova shock dart, excuse me, and the Phoenix Molly. Really Absolutely. Good. I mean, that, that's all you can ask is for your util to do some of the work for you, mm -hmm. and that just kind of shows. Like, make sure your util is working for you. Um, it, it's something that you can use to gain map control, and they did that. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the loss in the round, they still managed to bring it back a little bit. Yeah, and we're we're seeing the the half the full buy from SMSU, even though it looks like a light buy. It is our full buy. 
uh, sadly. Uh, they do we get a tag onto the jet with the marshal, so she is going to be low. Um, SMSU just working with uh, pennies and nickels right now uh, mm -hmm. with uh, the abilities, but we do see the waffle and his, his trusty Bucky. Absolutely, and it looks like he might... Uh, yeah, it, it looks like they're they're floating towards A. You know, they don't think they're going to be there. You know, Mankato probably believes that SMSU full rotated to C, and, you know, they're leaning mid to A. It looks like uh, Mankato is going to take A. Possibly B. Look at Sobo over right here. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see two still on C for um, SMSU. Mm -hmm. Though we do have some rotates to A. Yeah, and this is what I wanted to see from SMSU. As you can see from Mankato, uh, they're playing together. So Cypher and Silver are playing together. Astra and Sky are playing together. They're almost running a little buddy system yeah, they that they can get trades off of each other. So even if you know SMSU has a shorty or a little shotgun angle, you know they can easily get that trade. And it looks like they're collapsing on the C. And see, as I'm talking about, uh, the shorty pick on the Cypher but gets traded out by the Sova. And now it's a 4v4 retake. Yeah. But they have full knowledge where the sky is at, and they're getting pings through the box. But now... Uh, Mankato pushing up here, trying to take some control. Waffle yeah. with the judge ends up... I mean, uh, the Bucky, Bucky ends up getting one. Our, our yeah, hero, the Bucky. Candy. The 1v3. You know, the run and gun. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's unfortunate the aim doesn't reset, and you know you just miss a few shots. It's it's all right. It was a three v one. It's understandable to get in that situation. You kind of have to get a you know maybe a lucky headshot onto one of them, and then get a nice flick on another to even have a chance in that kind of situation. Yeah. So there there wasn't much that he could have done in that situation. Yeah. Regardless of. Uh the difference in rounds here. I think SMSU has been using more of their utility, which is what I wanted to see in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, it stalled Mankato for quite a while on that C push. Um, yeah, the it seems like the uh, the rounds that SMSU f is the closest to Mankato, like the closest to getting that round, is when they're using their util. And Dog spots out the Sova. Last second, <sighs> too. Unfortunate. And the judge play with the Jet. Backs off, but it's it's now a three v five cluster on site. Astra picks the Brimmy, and then Sage gets picked off by this jet. And that's a good game from SMSU versus Mankato. All right, so that was a rough game, obviously, but mm -hmm. I think towards the ends. And it was a little bit better for SMSU in the sense that they were using their util more, um, making sure that they were playing together slightly more. Um, mm -hmm. I think attack is a little rough sometimes, though, when you're... Um, yeah, they they could see the problems. You could tell that they understood where the problems were, and SMSU was a, almost on the edge of correcting it and almost got a few rounds off of their util and off of playing together, but didn't come together sadly for SMSU uh, with a 13-2 defeat. Absolutely and we'll catch you guys in the next game. Yep.
All right, back again with SMSU versus Mankato. We are on a set this score around. You know, uh, SMSU started a little rocky with the 13-2 the on the last map, but that was the last map. And now we are going to see uh, which characters they're going to select. Uh, you're looking at maybe Viper, Omen, Sova, Jet on SMSU side. And, uh, you know, they got the Reina, Astra, Sky. It's looking very similar to last maps with the addition of maybe KJ on uh, University of Mankato side. Yeah. Although and I <laughs> hope they do realize that Chamber is not currently available for competitive play. Yes. They still have another s 60 days, I believe, for Chamber to be available. As long as it's available in pro play, that's when we're, we're able to use it. All I know is it's for next semester. Yes. That's what I know. <laughs> um, all right. So some of these are locked in. Sova on both. Great for info. Great for this map in general. Mm -hmm. uh, Killjoy, probably a possibility for both. I love the breach coming out here. Yeah. I, honestly, Dude, for SMSU, having corners that they don't need to check because of breach util is really, really nice. I, th I think, okay. I, I was about to say what the most interesting thing about SMSU's team is they didn't have smokes, but I'm glad they picked <laughs> up the omen at the very last second there. Uh, I I really like the breach pick. I I pray that he uses all of his util every round. That should be his goal to just spam all of his flashes, use his stuns, use his, you know, uh, rico ricochet. I think that's what it's called. Is the um, Spicy Lotus is a yeah. league player as well. He's pretty good at using his util. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when he plays Viper, I see a lot of good util coming out. Mm -hmm. And we have SMSU on attacking side and Mankato on defense. And they're leaning A. Uh, I, again, a very common sight to hit early is A, just because KJ is so obnoxious to deal with on B. And it looks like they're trip stacking B, maybe sky mid. But again, Absolutely. Astra and Reyna gonna be W keying out uh, main. I I already know what they're gonna do. I they've got the smoke orb one way and then the pull uh, right next to the smoke orb mm -hmm. just to yeah play together. They are gonna push this and this is this is gonna get very interesting very quickly. Absolutely. They push out a little bit here, trying to see if there's anything. But Astra ends up taking back her orb. Mm -hmm. SMSU very careful not to make any noise at the moment. Yeah, they're playing a little safe. SMSU doing a split and the one way off of the Reyna in mail. That's Colvin she ends up getting two mm -hmm. off of that. But does get the trade back uh, with off of the KJ. You know, it is a 3v4, but they can, get, they can bring this back with uh, util use. Maybe some smokes. So at some point, smokes would be good. They get collapsed on in mid, and Eric yeah. has to take this 1v1. Yeah, if Eric wanted to win that round by himself, he had to take that fight mid. Um, and we get some a, a little easy, easy talk from our spicy Lotus player. You know, it's some friendly banter in the in the chat. We'll say that. <laughs> All right. So I think we're gonna see a slight default. Either that or we're going to see a mid to B hit a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the same strat coming in from Astra. Slightly different, actually, uh, as the smoke is not a one way this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one thing with Astra that I actually don't particularly like is you can't take your orbs back when you put them down uh, before the round starts. So if it's placed, it's placed. Colton but with this sheriff is deadly. Ends up picking three, and it's going for four, and sadly it doesn't get it. Uh, Eric the Great with the classic. I believe yeah. that was a right click. I'm not totally sure, <laughs> but the right click still good. Still good. Um, RNG bullets are our favorite. Yeah. Uh, so SMSU starting off a little rocky compared to the last game where they picked up both the pistol and the bonnet or the uh, buy up round with uh, specters, but absolutely. You know, I'll just buy from both teams here though. So yeah, a little bit of a uh, never mind, not a sketchy buy. Never mind, I was looking at the <laughs> wrong team for a second. I was wondering what SMSU was doing with two specters, a bulldog, and a phantom, but uh, that's more uh, University of Mankato with that. 
And it looks like a four stack towards B, expecting the B push, but they're going to be fast rotating off. Yeah, SMSU has a lot of map control right now, and they see Reyna, and Reyna ends up getting a pick mm -hmm. onto Spicy Lotus. And already is ulted and up mid. This is, this is exactly what you'd want to see as Reyna. You, she's getting control. She's getting picks. She's already got her ult, and she's going to be getting aggressive here very, very soon. Yeah, they know exactly where SMSU cannot be. And, 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 Ooh, and the omen gets to pick off. I'd love to see an omen smoke just at any point in time. Just, just once. All right, so Sky ends up getting big zoomer energy with a sheriff. SMSU has to make a move at this moment, or they will be collapsed upon. Silva and Reyna lurking, yeah. waiting for a rotate, waiting for anything to tell them what's happening. Left. Mm -hmm. They are really stuck. They are. Waffle. Oh, and Waffle does get the pick onto the other Sova, but again, still stuck, having to go towards A. They're kind of forced at this point. King's on sight though. Gets the pick on Astra. Spike's down though. Oh, and Sky does get picked, and now it's a two v one against the Reyna. They probably have to play a crossfire, play together. Colfin knows. Killjoy oh, she, sees the gun. she knows, and she gets both. Colfin with the really nice 180 to finish off the Kingslayer. Mm -hmm. That aim was really crisp, and I think that just shows how strong Mankato is. Mm -hmm. I mean, no blinds even used. Yeah. No S util used right there. S saving like money for next round. Uh, <laughs> ma making the 180. Sure. You know, uh, sometimes in uh, lower ranked games, you don't want to use your util because on Reyna, it shows on the map. So they'll know where you're coming from if you use the Reyna blind. Yeah. So in some cases, it's better to go yeah. in dry because you'll catch people yeah. off guard like the jet and the uh, KJ. Sky blind, unfortunately blinding the entire team. Big <laughs> Zoomer Energy trying to make his way up into a capturing this orb at the moment. Mm -hmm. SMSU has quite a lot of space at the moment. B A main for the most part. About to see SMSU start to collapse on B. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to see another character picking up uh, the orb. Uh, Omen's alt isn't typically the one you should be farming. I mean, maybe KJ or even Sova. Breach would probably be a great alt to have on attack at this point. You know, I'd love to see a Breach alt. KJ's alt is ready to go, so she can alt this B, and that looks like what's going to be happening when the call happens. Breach is already on site, though, with the bomb. Choosing not to plant, um, no smoke CT, uh, they're kind of dry on this right now. There's very uh, little counter util. Now they're just going to do a five man rush on a site and it's going to be a, this is going to be a massacre here. Kingslayer gets above and Whoa, over them. Oh, what? The upward yeah. flank. That's the kind of play that we like to see. <laughs> Omen here though, gets little late on the, taken yeah. It was a little late. I on it. Okay, regardless of anything, I I I love the jet play. I I know it's not typically something that happens mm -hmm. and not really what people want, but that was exciting. Yes. Seeing jet double up draft over everyone and getting one was was really yeah. exciting. That's And and when you are playing, you know, a maybe higher ranked team than your own you might have to do crazy plays to get the advantage off because if you're just dry peeking aim yeah. duel lane the the higher rank is typically gonna win those aim duels i mean if you're playing a diamond against uh, an iron and they're just dry peeking each other the diamond's usually gonna win that game or the that, that fight so yeah. really like to see more util coming out of smsu and would love to see more wacky plays like that uh, jet updraft. Omen getting picked yeah. off. Reyna Astra and Astra. And They're already in SMSU spawn together. The map's closing. They have CT control, almost uh, catwalk control. They Eric know the exactly. Great, the turret gets pulled in. Mm -hmm. 
They really need to take out this Astra Spicy and... Lotus ends up picking off Malfi and Mankato picks off the rest. Mm -hmm. And it, it brings it to 5-0. SMSU should be doing something to, you know, change the pace of the game a little bit because... Honestly, I don't mind them losing that round as it was a save round. Yeah. However, this next round... This is the if, big round. If they don't win this, then I, I don't know what they can do. Yeah, they, they will be struggling for cash for the next three, four rounds if they lose this uh, one. Only or two rounds, excuse me. Jet Alt will be coming out here for SMSU as the Kingslayer only has a ghost. It has to come out this round. Yeah, Waffle buying Light Shield uh, instead of full. And then Jet gets... Oh, and a Omen gets... A clean but maybe unintentional shot from Omen picks off Colton. Mm-hmm. But still it's nice, really tra nice shot. yeah. Tra trading Jet Alt for Reina Alt, especially when the rain is popping off, is an amazing trade to make, honestly. Big Zoomer Energy with 26 HP. Mm -hmm. Spicy and Lotus sp ends up picking off Malfi. Mm -hmm. And he does have his Alt ready to take a sight if he so chooses. And I would really like to see him using his Alt either this round or the next round because it's going to be sitting there for a long while if he doesn't use it soon. Absolutely. Whether you use it for when enemies retake or if you mm -hmm. use it to take sight, it's something you need to be using as like soon as you have it. Yeah, because even if you're only hitting two people with your breach alt, it's not as bad as it might seem. You know, it's not all five people. It's not the, people wow, love people love to go up. for the gusto on the breach alt, but uh, I don't think you necessarily need it. We see a KJ with a monster flank here. They have no idea. Completely lost. They do get, and the Eric KJ, the with a two piece. nice saving the round, and the seekers come out for Sky. A little bit of a team blinding, but it looks like the round is going to be picked up by SMSU. And Spicy they Lewis. do get the trade. Yeah. Nice job from SMSU. All right, that was a good round. I loved how we they had a blank, and that worked for them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we've seen SMSU flank a lot, so it's. It's unexpected, yeah. which is what they need to win these rounds. Absolutely. And the best thing is they won right that there. buy round, mm -hmm. which is what they needed. Yeah, another and econ's getting pretty good. Yeah. Jet's almost at 7,000 credits, which and is... And off coming out for one of Mankato's. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and again, SMSU still has three alts on the board, so they can use that to take sight and capitalize on that. You know, Sova is probably going to be alting soon, maybe this round. Um... If Waffle drones out and tags someone, I'm going to expect him to, uh... Colpin, take some damage from that. 40, it looks like. Pushing out with Irena up and gets the pick and dips. That is spectacular. I love it. Love to see that aggressive Reyna play. Does miss the second op shot, though. Colpin knows where he's at, though, mm -hmm. but decides to back off. Yeah. SMSU, all mid... Omen heading towards A. However, little does he know Astra is currently on site. Oof. And again, KJ Sova pushing out a main. They are just collapsing on us, Miss You. Not collapsing, excuse me. They are pushing out and getting a lot of like main control, you know, mid control. Like, Raina pushed out Garage with the, uh, or excuse me, uh, Catwalk with the op. And Breach, oh, it gets the kill off the Breach util, and that's exactly what you want to see off your Breach. Plays like that. Colbin with a 3k with just the op alone. Mm -hmm. Nothing can stop Colbin. Yeah. Kingslayer ends up taking out Malfi, a main. It's smoking himself on his site. Still doable. And... Uh, aim battle between Sky and Jet, and and no one comes out victorious. You know you love you love to see SMSU. The Kingslayer ends up breaking the glass for him, and and it's his it's his doom. He he was put the six HP though. It was extremely close on both uh, the Sky and the Reyna. You know, e SMSU is inches away from rounds. I mean. They're so close. They're on the, the precipice of these rounds, and they just can't secure them just yet. It's Absolutely. Some friendly banter coming out about that battle between Jet and Killjoy. Both realizing that that was... A sight to see. <laughs> yeah. Colton with the op mid. Gonna see if he can get a couple picks here. 
as we know, he had a 4K last round just mm -hmm. off. Especially on Arena, it's a little, it's interesting to be picking that up on Arena. I have a feeling, I have a feeling. Big Zoom energy. Ooh, with the Guardian. Ooh, two Guardians and a Marshall and everything's. Waffle blinds. <laughs> Sadly misses. Blind but I, I still liked him using the alt because I didn't want him sitting on that alt for you know, three, four, five, six, seven rounds. I'm glad he at least used it so then he can go back to farming it back up. But Astra in this stellar male position but gets picked off because the classic is completely busted. Uh, Eric the Great gets taken out by Mankato though. Mm -hmm. SMSC looking like they're leaning towards B. They have Spike. Unless Spicy Lotus decides to spice it up and take it A. Which I think he might. Mm -hmm. And he's got full util except for his, uh, I think it's Flashpoint now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, he's got both flashes, his E, his alt. Left. He's got everything ready for this 2v4. Absolutely. And it looks like Mankato believes it's going to be a B hit. So they have to move fast to make sure that Mankato doesn't collapse map. Mm -hmm. And SMSU gonna try to make this 2v4 work. Knife Doors were closed. Tr full game. trust in his teammate. And he is betrayed with uh, the 4k on the sky, sadly. Is it betrayed if, if you don't clear sight first? <laughs> <laughs> you just have um, the full trust that uh, Mankato didn't have anyone A. And you know, true. you know, it's easy peasy. Don't use any How of your tail to get on site. Someone on site. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Colpin might get aggressive here with the op. I can't tell if he's gonna be aggressive or if he's just gonna. I, I don't want to see this play. I think oh, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, it's gonna be a wall bang, please. Ooh, I, are I'm... we sure? Are we sure? Oh no! I, I... Oh, but it's definitely SMSC's gonna be a wall bang. Right the into oh, this. No. Wow. What? Getting double. Oh, and gets the. With a great shot. Nice. On Nice trade on the... But Unleash has amazing shock dart li lineups and ends up picking one off. He's trying to destroy the KJ up through the wall, but it looks like... Uh, Breach all coming out, hitting Sova, but he's still living. Eric the Great with a 3k opening pick gets both the sight picks, and now the bomb is coming down for SMSU in a 2v4. That was a one enemy remaining. Now in a 1v3 because of the trade, the Seekers do come out, but SMSU knows exactly where she's at. She's concussed, she's stunned, right. everything. That was a great round from SMSU, Ooh. and I, I want to go over it real quick. Mm -hmm. So, first off, we see them break Dart from Unleashed right away, and it, it makes it so they can't wall and bang them. Uh, Colpin has no idea where they're at. They get Eric the Great gets a pick onto Colpin, sets everything up. You see Killjoy ult come down. And you see Astra from um, Mankato actually block off B main with her ultimate, meaning that um, Unleash cannot break Killjoy ult mm -hmm. at that moment in time. So it's just free entry on site. Breach ult comes out, secures the round for them. Mm -hmm. That was a really good round. Yeah, it also baited out the uh, Astra ult and the Sky ult from Mankato, which was really good. They they played to their uh, their alts. They used the Breach and the KJ to counter wow I and Lotus with the great shot on the Colton but does get traded out by the KG but that's all right yeah. you know 4v4 does typically uh benefit the attackers um if you do get that trade off so good for SMSU nice yeah. nice start to the round yeah, it Colton's feels like they're actually getting momentum um in these cases as you can tell because Mankato isn't holding W they're not getting any more map control than they already have you know that feels like Mankato's kind of stunted Waffle is going to be taking the Odin to the next level and will be taken spike out. Down. With Spike. So yeah. Spike is now trapped on Cat Nothing with uh, all four players of Mankato. Blinded, collapsed. but he gets Malfi last second. Now it's a 3v3, and the Omen alt still hanging out from round five. That's a 2v3 because KJ picked up the other KJ. Omen smoke still available. They're able remaining. to get off. Omen, Omen is not available anymore. Uh, Mankato's collapsing, oh. and the Kingslayer can do absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's rough. Um, 
So right there, SMSU, I think Smokes would have been nice to block off where they can see Spike from mm -hmm. Tree. Uh, make Mankato push out if they want to keep control of Spike. Yeah. Um, I think use utility usage, making sure that they, I mean, they peaked one by one. It was uh, free for Mankato there. Mm -hmm. Mankato doing everything right, playing with buddies, getting yeah. trades off of people, Killjoy peeking out, getting the trade on Reyna. That was fabulous. Mm -hmm. I, I really would love to see an Omen Smoke at some point in the game. Um, just Just one somewhere, maybe an Omen Flash. Sky uh, proving that all of Mankato can off mm -hmm. and relatively well. Yes. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Eric the Great with the Sheriff. It does look like a bit of a half buy for SMSU. Yeah. Uh, you know, buy for next round, maybe? Are, are um, we sure if it's a half buy? No, yeah, I'm, I'm a noticing. Scattered buy is it's, <laughs> yes, it's a scattered buy. Everyone could buy what they have. So. Yes. Um, Eric the Great pushing into B main. I'm not sure about the Sentinel. Getting the orb though. Yeah, it, it looks like he wants to farm up because he is only one ult orb away for KJL, but the omen does get picked mid. Would love to see an omen smoke market or you know back pizza somewhere on the map just to stop them from peeking everything. And you know that is the one major counter to ops is smokes. Yeah. So yeah, I'd be I'd love to see one just one somewhere. Yeah, I think that's a really important thing to know is yeah. having smokes also limits uh, opping abilities and also limits who can trade who. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have smoke bottom mid like around arches, mm -hmm. Killjoy can't get that trade on Reyna the other round. Yeah. That's an instant five v four. Um. Having those smokes is really vital to making sure that you have map control, making sure you're able to push up safely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, unfortunate that we're not seeing a lot of that coming out. Yeah, it is last round, so ugh, we're seeing a, a, a maybe Bucky Sheriff, no, nope, uh, Sheriff full armor off of Spicy Lotus with all of his util. It's a very, very poor uh, econ from the side of SMSU, but they do have two rounds on attack for Ascent, so maybe they can make a stellar comeback or maybe they even get this round and make it the 9-3 curse you know that that usually wins the game absolutely let's see the 9-3 curse Ooh, and we do su see two omen spokes but none from garden and reyna just getting oh with the flank from spicy lotus now it's a 2v3 and if they have sight it's looking good for us uh but they don't have spike they didn't pick up Spike because it's off in no man's land. Remaining. And now it's a 1v3. And Mankato will be collapsing here. And he gets trapped. <laughs> and they and knife. A uh, s stylish way to end the half from Mankato. Absolutely. Um, honestly, how, how, how do you feel that round, uh, that half went? Um... All things considered, on the side of SMSU, even though it looks like it's 10-2, they're, they've shifted the momentum. So at least, bare minimum, they're not just getting ran down, W keyed every single round. You know, they're not pushed, getting pushed out of garage. They're not getting pushed out of short mid. You know, Mankato's had to play reserve because they have lost two rounds and they've had close rounds with SMSU. So it, it feels like there's a lot more, you know, maybe mutual respect there where uh, the players are playing a little bit more reserved from Mankato's side. Absolutely. Um, couldn't have put it better myself. Gonna see Colpin going on to site here, taking this control, and it looks like they might have sight for free. Mm -hmm. A 5v5 on both ends. Colpin's gonna be pushing out oh. and... and just uh, spicy, spicy lotus does get a trade though on the sova and uh, reyna getting tagged up a bit omen flash comes in mm -hmm. big omen flash now they have heaven Gonna control see, uh, oh, killjoy end up shorty. taking i mean sky actually end up taking waffle out One enemy remaining. Mm -hmm. but now One be free. eric against a shorty a sheriff and a classic sadly couldn't yeah. bring the round home and now it's 11-2 Honestly, I think 
uh, SMSC Brown is doing some of the things that, I mean, when we first started working as a team, this is some of the stuff we, uh, we, we did. Uh, we would come at separate times from tree into um, a main mm -hmm. and from separate times we wouldn't be in sync yeah we would push they site at different them. times and one group would die and then the other one would be alive <laughs> and then they died yeah um so i think even though if this doesn't turn out to be a win it's a you're learning a lot here mm -hmm. i mean you're learning what you need to improve on you're learning what your team as each individual needs to do yeah it, it's it's a great learning experience uh the best way to possibly put it so even though it is 11 to 2 and you know they aren't doing the best that they could possibly hope for it still is a great learning experience to see what the other other team plays like you know you see the astra you know the the sova you know the kj it's a very common comp uh we, we play a very similar comp to uh, Mankato here, so. Absolutely. Yeah, and they do get team aced here, uh, WK to down A and 12-2. I mean, I'll say it can, uh, time and time again, the best games are the games where you learn something, and this is definitely one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a learning experience, and it is uh, SMSU's possibly last uh, game of the season uh, for the semester. You know, uh, they could make a pretty amazing comeback 11 rounds in a row. Just I, I'm down to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready for the 10-game uh, uh, win streak to tie it up and to OT another two in a row. So 12 rounds overall. SMSU. Silva Dark coming out will be instantly destroyed, but a flash comes out as well, pushes Killjoy out of B main. Mm -hmm. And it, it looks like they're contesting this very well. Like, it's not like KJ is just waltzing in the garage they're actually stopping her but garage push oh, sadly Slayer was so close so close on two astra's extremely low reina's really low and now they're gonna get full healed by the sky such a good character for heal so good don't push out please oh it does get the pick on the reina but then gets traded out by the sova and you really have to play numbers if you're in a 3v5. Yeah. I think that's another thing um, that we just saw is what I was talking about is one would push from heaven and then a couple later we see people push from tree and it's just not really as efficient. As it's not as unified as a team should be. Yeah. It's unfortunate for SMSU, but that will be the game for SMSU. 13-2, yeah. second map on ascent. GG's.